too. Yeah, we live. I'm not wearing headphones. I'm sweating. Yeah, that shit start pouring down your head, looking yeah. crazy. Because I was drinking Mr. last Cleaner. night at a fucking at a weird old bar last night, trying to have a good time with my with my boys. I mean, you want us to tell? No, we we want to tell the whole story. It's just like awkward bar situation. So you can tell a story about, and this is what leads us into our conversation today about our podcast, the awkward bar situation last night. So. Basically, we at it was a mix. It's a mixed bar, mixed crowd. More all right, all right. let's let's dispel this shit right now with this mixed bar because I want to set the stage. Okay, it's a country. It wasn't mixed, bro. When niggas like, no, nah, this, no, nah, this shit, no, nah, we got nigga. It was eighty. I'm gonna say ninety percent white. Country bar, yeah. and then the rest was mixed. Ninety percent white is not a mixed bar, bro. Okay, so. No, because that's what people told us when we put yeah, yeah. up. 90% is not a mixed bar. It's not half and half. But black, It's a white bar. It's a white bar, but black dudes is in there. They're comfortable somewhat. Sprinkled. sprinkled with the situation. Yeah. So got to stop that. So. The golden nugget. The gold, yeah. So here's the thing about this, this situation, this bar. Like, the inside scene was definitely different. Yeah, the inside, inside scene, scene was like all yeah, country was music, yeah. everything like that. But it's like, it's cool. Old Our, niggas. Yeah. So we just in there chilling, having a good time, getting some drinks, some wings, listening, just chilling, just talking and conversating. Right. For some reason, my white brethren, I don't know what it is when you see black dudes that y'all feel as though y'all got to start to say the most racist, borderline racist. Go ahead. Get the most. I'm sorry. This is too long. Oh, yeah. It's still the same. Hey, listen. That's okay. I still got the same shirt on. Yeah, so he, hey, you're, y'all start saying the most borderline racist shit. No, just racist. Racist, stereotypical yeah. shit, trying to be like, hey, listen, I'm comfortable being around black people. Shit. Yes. Newsflash. Just, we know you're not. We know you're not. Because <laughs> we've seen white dudes in the all black bars saying that comes to black bars, they just chilled in the cup, they give you the head nod. If you make, if you conversate with them, they'll conversate back with you. It's not crazy. It's not a crazy situation. They're not bringing up rap lyrics and <laughs> saying, you know, Brilliant. I like Sir Mix a lot or, hey, you, like this song, or you hear a rap song come on. Hey, dude, just that shit, ain't it, bro? Sir Mix a lot is crazy, bro. Yo, I, uh, these motherfuckers <laughs> go crazy. Shit, ain't it, bro? <laughs> Yo, they hear Sir, I like big butts. They just automatically think every black dude's gonna get up and start dancing so, to the shit. So no, no, they just when they see it, they, they start look for the nearest black dude. Yeah, like yo, no man, no. Whatever. Nobody listening. Sir Mix a lot since Sir Mix a lot came so, the fuck out there in the black community. So, so can we give them the rules now, or should we wait for later? No, give, give them, them the some, give them the fucking rules, and then we're gonna show you how y'all break all these rules. Okay. Oh shit. So, white people, I, I'm sorry to do this to you, but it's no other race. It's no other race. I'm sorry. We're not racist, but we're just telling you that white people. When you see black people. In, or or any type of other people than you, when you're in a predominantly white bar or establishment, do not come up to them and then tell them who they look like, that it's also black. This man, he what did he call you last night? Nigga called me fucking uh, Bun B. I don't he look called nothing Bun like- B. He called him a numerous amount of people. He called you a lot of shit. I'm pretty bro. sure at one he point he called me he said oh, you were the, Dave one, the one actor. He called me, yeah, he called me. I think he called me Dave Chappelle. One called of the you Idris album. He called Idris album. I don't look he nothing don't like, like no album. Idris album. I ain't even gonna fucking give myself that even praise. Idris is handsome. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm joking. No, but he called and and what they what y'all tend to do is like just start, oh, you look yo, that's no, no that's racist. You are being racist. Do I say you look like Jeffrey Dahmer's? Do I say you look like Jeffrey Epstein? Yes. He definitely looked like Dave Franco. You look like Dave Franco. He did like Dave Franco. But I say, hey, man, you kind of remind me of Will Ferrell. All right, let's go back. Let's but go I'm back. just saying. Because we go. Give, we give the rules, but I think they don't they don't understand what we're talking about. All right, so we're in the bar last night. Okay. I'm up here. We're having a ball. You understand? We're having a ball. We're having fun. Just about five black guys, just uh yeah, five. Yeah. Five black guys just enjoying being around each other, haven't seen each other. In, well, I haven't seen these guys in a while. Having fun, talking, hearing the greatest stories. 
watching the greatest videos and saying, yeah. White guy comes up to us randomly and just starts talking. No, no, no. Let me, oh, let me, oh, let me, let me you, you left it out. I got left it okay. He sees my cousin and would say, hey, dude, I remember you last. I remember I was doing some coke and I said, he definitely said that. It's cool to back up here. Everybody can park anywhere. Right. So we already know you do coke. And he when you coke. come to this par bar, you probably did coke before you got here. Yeah. So he proceeds. Yes, he definitely he definitely mentioned that he does, did coke. So he uh, comes, he walks up to us as we're sitting there talking. And he talk, he starts talking to um, to, to Kevin's brother. What do you say? He talk, starts talking to Kyle. KB. KB. I'm sorry. I call him Kyle. Yeah. Um. Starts talking to KB and he says, Can you tell what race I am? Can you tell what I am? And he has glasses on. Mind you, he randomly, we don't know this nigga. Can you tell what race I am? He's drawn. He's just, Can you tell, can you tell what race I am? Nah, man. I'm Native American. Nigga started guessing. Nigga said white. He said he should be doing his taxes. But he said, Native American. And then he just proceeds to start no. being racist. Okay. Cool. Racist as fuck. Yeah. He shakes my hand. Remember? Oh, yeah. He okay. asks okay. for his name. Okay. KB shakes his name. This is how he gets to. Can you imagine what I am? Yeah. He shakes my hand. Hey, what's your name, bro? I said, Kevin. No, dude, you don't look like the fuck out of here. You don't want no fucking Kevin. I'm and, like, what the fuck? I said, the fuck I look like Tyrone, Jamal. How about, oh, no, dude, I'm not, no, dude, like, you see, I got aggressive. No, dude, I'm not trying to say that. Can you, that's what he said. Can yeah. you guess what race I am? All right, there we go. That's how I got yeah, to can you right. guess what race I am. Because yes. I told this motherfucker my name was Kevin, and it was hard for him to believe yeah. there's a black guy named Kevin. There's actually two. Yes. And my brother's name is Kyle. Yeah. It's white motherfucking name. Exactly. <laughs> it's regular fucking name. But that what led to, he seen that I like got aggressive, like, yo, man, the fuck I'm supposed to be named Jamal. So that's when he proceeded to back up. Say, Dude, can you guess what race I am? He had glasses on. When you get to the worst part. I said, with the glasses on, you look like you can fucking. <laughs> I said, with the glasses on, you look like you should be doing my fucking taxes. There you go. And then I, we, I told the joke wrong. Yeah, that, yeah. That was perfect. So then we took the glasses off. I was like, yeah, you look like you're probably fucking Asian or something. I don't fucking you know. What are you? Man. The fuck are you? Oh, no, dude, I'm Native American. Keep going, um, so <laughs> Keep going, son. It got weirder from there. Okay, it got weirder. Clearly, it definitely this got guy weird. was on coke. So. As we're talking, he starts telling people who they look like. He tells KB that he looks like Wale. Mind you, this is unprompted. We're not talking to him and having a conversation. He just came over and just word vomit everywhere. Just wouldn't shut the fuck up when he sees black people chilling. That's why, that's why it disturbed us. It's like, yo, we chilling. We talking amongst each other. You over here hype as shit, trying to be down with your coked up ass. Tells KB look like Wale says that me and Kevin are light skin. Kevin's his color is what he said. Um, he said, we look like we talk to the bitches and he looks like he dicks them down. Okay? But how did he say it? Because I'm fucking the story up right He's now. Like, he dropped, he, he, he like, said, y'all can look like y'all pull all the bitches in the and then he <laughs> comes through and drops heavy <laughs> dick on them. Yes. That's what he said. <laughs> that's exactly like, yo, what, like, that's, that's what he said. I said, I said, first I laughed it off. Like, <laughs> like yeah, okay, bro. Like, yeah, nah, yeah. nah, nah. I'm like, I was like, I'm like, nah, nah. You Like, chill, bro. I, I said, chill, bro. I'm like, chill. I said, pause. I said, pause. Oh, no, dude. These are my light-skinned brothers right here. But you like you just slammed the dick on him, bro. You just did definitely said that. Big black dude, you just throw the dick on him. I'm like, I'm like, hey, yo, my man. I'm like, yo, my man, pause. I'm like, yo, dog, pause. Again, pause. I'm like, chill. <laughs> he so we're not making this up. This is exactly what this exactly what's happening. Yeah. So yeah. this goes on for about what? Like five minutes. So we like, yo, five? More than that. 30. Yeah, so we like, yo, we got to get the fuck away from this dude. Yes. So we slide. Yeah. Because I'm like, yo, this nigga, he slides. We slide off. So my brother's like, my brother KB comes over there and tells the dude, like, yo, this motherfucker, because he still stayed there. Yeah. He said, yo, he said that motherfucker kept getting, like, saying more and more disrespectful shit. So I, said, I told that nigga, yo, respectfully suck my dick. He shook his hand and walked away. Yeah. If a nigga, see, niggas know when you tell another nigga, yo, respectfully suck my dick. Yeah. That means, dog, you say another word and right. you get the fuck out. We're about to fight. A brother would be like, what? Right. 
Like, do I want to fight or like, yo, let me just leave this nigga alone. This nigga's mad. Like, I, I, I fucked up. Let me chill. Yeah. We still sitting over there. We get back to our conversation because we just out hanging, chilling. Right. This is this is like in the this is the the later tonight. We still gonna go to the early night rewind, but he comes over there with the same shit again. Oh, my light skin bros, what's up, dude? Look, this fucking dude right here. This guy got the dick. This guy got yeah. Kept saying this shit. So. Yeah, so in my mind, I said, you know, I said, yo, I said, this motherfucker must be gay. I don't want to offend the gay community. I said, yo, my, I said, yo, my guy, yo, I like pussy, bro. I said, like, in the most aggressive way, yo, bro, I like pussy. Dunking everybody? Mm-hmm. Not saying, like, not saying, <laughs> like it. Not saying, you don't like it. Hey, I like pussy. How about you? Saying, you don't like it? Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying, no, like, yo, said, who doesn't? Who doesn't? But he ain't saying it like that. He's saying, <laughs> well, who doesn't? Well, Do well, you know? So I can talk to them? <laughs> Like, like, nah, yeah, me too, bro. Like, no, bro, you keep, I'm like, bro, you keep saying out of pocket shit, like, chill. So I'm like, yo, let's slide from this nigga. We slid from this nigga one more time. One more time, yeah. After this. So he corners another white dude. Yeah, he did. Corners yeah. another white yeah. dude. like, cool, he's Cornering over there with this white dude. Consistent. You can see the white dude, like, sitting, leaning back, leaning back. And then it was like an area you could, it was like a ramp. He's the dude like started sliding close to the exit, start going down the ramp. He's still in his white dude shit. So I'm right. like, yo, this nigga is not gonna like KB told this nigga to suck his dick. I just aggressively told this nigga, like, yo, chill, I like pussy. This nigga's not gonna come over here a third fucking time with the shit. Right. Like niggas is right at this point, niggas. I think everybody was at the point, like, yo, we about to fuck this yeah, dude. Yeah, up. yeah. It was uncomfortable. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, this nigga then comes over there with the same shit again. I say, I'm out. I said, I'm out. Yeah. I said, I'm not even like, yo, this ain't the bar to get into a fight at because they just going to target us. Because it's 90% white. Yeah. Which is fine for us. It's just weird to be the fish in the fishbowl. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like we, we, don't, we, we five fish in the fishbowl. And it was a couple other black people sprinkled. But we five fish in the fishbowl, bro. And then as we proceed in the fucking leave, another white dude, random white dude, looks at my brother, starts bopping his head, and looks at my brother like he's like he's grooving. Two chains. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this old ass nigga don't even look like he knows or listens to any two chains music, but he just appropriates my brother with two chains. My brother looks nothing like two chains. Only thing him and Two Chains got in common with, oh, they both they got like, dressed and, and they got dressed. That's shit. These niggas don't. He's tall. He is tall though. But these niggas don't look nothing <laughs> alike. No. And that's the thing. Like we had this. Y'all remember? We went to a white, all white strip club. Mm-hmm. You remember? I remember. Yeah. And we walk in, and we're walking past everybody to get to the back area, and. uh I hear a white guy saying, boys in the hood. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I keep walking. Like, oh, you hear what that nigga just said? Niggas was like, what? I said, we walk past the nigga talking about boys in the hood. So we go over and approach him. Like, yo, what you say? Like, what, what's that shit you said? No, nah, man. I don't. Like, start copping. With my son. Start copping, please, and shit. Try to shake niggas but hand. Why do y'all do that? Why do, why do, why is that something that pops in your head to say? To like make us cool. I'm not cool with you. You can literally just acknowledge that motherfuckers walk by, which let's be fair. Most people in that bar did. We walked by, and nobody had to say anything to us. No, they just nodded, hey bro, what's, yeah. going on? what's up? Or or with, with this with the uh what's my man name? The um the security dude when we walked past, he was talking about how he had to pretend like he was doing his job, check our IDs. He made no mention of who we look like, he made no mention of our race or nothing like that. He, it was just regular conversation with people. But for some reason, it's always the white people who want to be down and tell us about who we look like that's black or what music they listen to that's that's uh, that's more for our community or whatever. I don't fucking care, nigga. I don't know you. We not we not hanging out tonight. Go find somebody else. So I posed the question earlier for everyone who has someone who walks up to them that does that or you have that white friend that always talks about how cool they are with black people here's what you do 
If the person starts talking that shit or they talk that shit all the time, you say, cool, bro, you cool with, oh, you listen to this, you do this. Oh, man, you do all this. Oh, you cool with all black people. Let me see your phone. You ask to see their phone. Hopefully, it's an iPhone. I don't know if Android can do Android this. can do that, too. too. Okay. You search that shit, you go. So, go to message. What you do is you go to Messenger or the, their messages. If you swipe down, there's a search button. And it allows you to search by keyword. Type any racial slur you want into that box. Like nigger. N-I-G-G-E-R. The hard E-R. Even in my phone, there's some conversations where I dropped the hard ER. That's terrible. Making making a point when I say that. Making a point. But even the N-I-G-G-A. It pulls up conversations that have that racial slur in them. So when that person is sitting there talking about how cool they are with black people, go in there on their phone. Just type in your, your any racial slur you want. Any one. And just see if it pops up on their phone. Like, man, I can't believe you got porch monkey in your shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then what do you do? Proceed to whipping that nigga's ass. <laughs> so that's a gift from me to you. You want to prove your racist friend racist? Do that with his phone or her phone. I just You'll find nigger in there. I that, guarantee it. just like, I don't understand it. Y'all come to our bar. White people come to our bar. Don't nobody bother them. It's, hey, you having a good time. You may do some shit. You see him dancing, knock, or you tap your nigga. Like, this motherfucker. Hell yeah. You have no rhythm. Yes. Yeah. But it's not fucking, Sorry. it's not going to this white person saying, hey, man, what the, you gotta learn how to do this dance. <laughs> have we, have we ever, you know this song? To, have we ever walked up to a white person in a bar and said, where the white bitches at? Have we ever did that? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> because that's fucking weird. But they'll walk up to you and say, man, where the bitches at? Where, you know, I like black girls. Where the bl-? They'll do that to you. Like, and yeah. you'll be like, why are you talking to me? Why why you, why did you have to specify? But, and they do that. Black girl. Yes. I like, a, I like a sister with a fat ass. A big old, big old ass. Right, bro? That's how you like it, right? Yeah. Like, hey, it's bro, fucking weird. Hey, yo, bro. It's mad what they be bitch. doing to you? Uh, the white people? Yeah. yeah. How they treat you wrong? You go there. You go to a lot of white bars. Oh, he had, he had a story he shared on here before, and it was fucking crazy. Yeah. One of those stories. There's There, there was a time that me and my wife went to um, this bar called Dom's, and... I smoke a lot of weed. I know I smoke. I mean, even when you look at me on here, I'm fried. My eyes are always low. And I'm chilling with my wife and I'm um, she's with her friends, like talking to her girlfriends. And I'm really I'm watching the TV. I'm watching the game. And a bouncer comes up and sits next to me and he taps me. I look at him. and He's like, there's no sleeping at the bar. And I'm looking at him. I'm like, bro, I'm not asleep. I can see you with your eyes closed. I'm like, bro, I'm looking at you right now. Are my eyes closed. And then I look across the bar and there's literally a dude sleep at the bar, like passed out at the bar. So my wife looks over and she's like, what's the issue? And I'm like, yo, this motherfucker giving me a hard time talking about I'm asleep. So she proceeds to go off because she knows I'm not asleep. She knows I'm just not in a conversation, you know, high end when it comes to my wife and her going out with her friends. So I, I haven't gone back to the bar since, um, but she had it out with them and then she she came and told me that the owner of the bar told me to come back and it would accommodate me and however however they said they would. But I don't have the notion to want to go back because mm-hmm. it makes you feel like they're trying to make it a point to make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, there's no way that you can't see that this dude is passed out. He's closer than you. You had to walk around the bar to come to me to say some shit. And this dude is right there, right across from you. And this motherfucker is literally knocked out. My wife has to fucking he was watching you. tell you that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's just little shit like that that make you really look at the scenario of how, how they view you or still want to treat you. And my wife asked me a question earlier today, and I don't even know what brought this brought this up. But I mean, maybe it was just pure curiosity about, you know, what I've gone through in my life and and maybe how I look back at the shit and, and the shit that maybe affects me. But she had asked me and, and my wife is white. She um she said, do you think that if you were white, you you would have had like a better life? And I was like, 
Hell yeah. If I was white, I would have had a better life because the way I was treated would have been completely different than the way I way I've gotten treated when it comes to certain situations or stipulations or especially finances or capable or just the views of who I may be, you know, regardless of, of what I can do. Mm. But I wouldn't trade who I am right now or my culture for nothing. You know what I mean? I love who I am. I love the culture that we bring and that everybody wants to have a part of some way or some form. Because there's no other culture that I want to reach out to and make it my own. And I know that our culture is the dominant one. Right. It's, it's something that every culture wants to take a piece of and right. adapt some way, somehow into their own. You know what I mean? We create what people call a vibe. We create, we, we, we are the trendsetters. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing there. It, all the adversities that I have gone through or have to go through gave me the mindset that I do right now. It makes me think the way that I think about situations, about people. It gives me and the capability of looking on both sides of the fence and knowing how hard it is for me or people like me and knowing what you have to do or, or, you know, what you can try to do to overcome it. We wake up every day knowing that, our struggle is always going to be different than yours, no matter how you look at it. And okay. when you look back at that, you're like, yeah, I mean, you, the way you were raised is totally different than the way I was raised because yeah. our parents had to be raised a certain way through the struggle, which they're trying to provide a better life for us. But y'all literally got to live generation in a sense, generational wealth. You know, mm -hmm. you got to grow up with, with your family and so you're capable of living on your own instead of having to figure out at a young age how to get everything on your own you know what i mean so a I lot of shit is given when when to to one certain culture and another culture had to take that's interesting i thought when you told me that i thought it was a very interesting question to ask and i just share curiosity because it's like damn when you really start to lay it out, it's like, I think easier, but overall, me personally, I would be a completely different person. Maybe, maybe for me, we'd all, would we would definitely be, we would all, we yeah, would definitely you know? be different. We would see a different view of life though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, and you think that's, and I don't think it would necessarily have been better, but easier would be the, the, the right. Do you term. think it was a mirror? When she said that, do you think that you can then put a mirror up? I think she's I think she's more intrigued of because she can see shit that I go through. It's not like she's like what makes oblivious you to, to things that happen no. to me. Uh, Fuck you. What what, what? You say? what make you niggas tick? What will make you niggas tick? <laughs> I'm just saying. Listen, when he told the question to me, I, the only thing that came to my mind I was like, did she just say you call this man a nigger? <laughs> <laughs> I was just babe, babe, babe. <laughs> What makes you niggas tick? <laughs> uh, That'd be crazy. Uh, she look, she that's look. crazy. But she listen. She Eject did those Tito cubs. But see, <laughs> but see, she can do that with you, and because y'all together, y'all together, y'all got a relationship. I that, think it's a, that, I think it was a good question. That's yeah. comfortable. You cannot do that shit at, at a, a bar. At a fucking bar. Hey, yo, <laughs> drinking, looking at a nigga across the fucking show. Can I ask me a question? Do you think your life would be easier if you were white like me? <laughs> and they think it's cool. They come to the bar like that. Like that's different. That's his wife. Yeah. They that's got. They got it. One. They got an intimate relationship. They together, and she sees the shit. Y'all are together, and she y'all are raised in two different cultures. So she's trying mm -hmm. to understand you. You trying to understand her. Cool. Probably that's interesting to see you. Go if you don't know me, you're a white dude, and you just want to sit there. Just bro, just sit and drink with me. If a com we can a com if a conversation sparks up, it's a normal conversation. Don't start talking to me about Trump and how oh man, I'm not really I, this is a favorite thing when they like Trump, but they don't want to say they like Trump. Oh, I think all presidents are liars. But you know what? Oh I think that too. All presidents are liars, but you know, at least Trump shoots it straightforward with you. 
Yeah, all right, bro. I, people think I know. They, I know you might think different of them, but listen, just hear me out. I go, bro. I don't want to talk politics with you. I definitely want to talk politics about Trump. Like, listen, I got a, a image in my mind of this nigga. Let's talk about. Let's stay. Wait. Let's talk about some. Let's talk about sports. Let's. Why can't you talk to me about sports and teams you like? Like, let's talk about basketball. You watch basketball? Yeah. How the fuck would you come out to me and start talking to me about Trump? Knowing as like a highly Racism, and like you don't talk politics and you don't talk religion. I mean, I'm a venture to share that I don't think they have many black people to discuss that with. So when they come and con- see what it is, is that we all am I making it too serious? No, you know what I mean? Um, I think that all people see I'm I'm in mixed environments most of the time, and I could talk to whoever because that's kind of what we can do. And we understand how to be respectful of somebody because we want people to be respectful of us regardless. So we know how to be respectful of other people's cultures, no matter what, including including a Caucasian culture, whatever that is, um, however you describe that. So when we talk American to people, pie, but like, we talk, wow, racism, uh, we talk to people with, I'm just you know, genuine like, hey, you know, I'm just we're talking it doesn't have to be about a racial issue it doesn't have to be about anything. We just talking. I saw you talk. They kind of take that opportunity, in my opinion, to then say, shit, I wonder how black people feel about this. I know I feel, and I know Trump shit, but I finally have a black guy in front of me. We're in an intimate situation where he's drinking, I'm drinking, we're bonding. I can ask him this question or at least try to come back and turn one of these niggers. I can turn one of them into a supporter of what we think, and then we have more power. So I think they take that chance and then they they go, but we see a bunch of different people all the time, yeah. all the time. We don't talk. We don't talk politics. It's just like yo, we don't need to talk about anything but what's going on. Hey man, there's a lot, a lot of girls yeah. in here tonight. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of girls in here tonight, man. They pretty. You see that chick over there? Yeah, she crazy, right? Yeah. Not see that white girl, man. I like me a good white girl. No, we just talk about women, but they come with this color shit, and it be like, bro. Immediately, can you get the fuck away from me? It is. It. They do it all the time. The That's funniest it. one at the bar is hey, you ever go to a bar that got the jukebox on the wall and it put it plays throughout the whole the whole establishment. 50 50s. Yeah, boom. They go in there, they go to the jukebox and they get to looking at you. <laughs> Bro, hey, yo, they get to looking at you at the jukebox. Go scroll to your black song. And point to this shit. Yeah, bro. Oh and then come over. I like, I know this nigga. This nigga don't listen to this shit. The fuck you pick this old ass song? Why are you picking low rider? Because that's only motherfucking. Apple you know? bottom jeans, yeah. beats with the furs. Like him, right? Big round ass. <laughs> Yo, I had that shit happen to me at the bar. This white dude. We talking conversation. Just cool. This nigga proceeds to go to the jukebox. Starts picking out black songs, skipping yeah, over gosh. all like hot black songs and getting to ones that he just know because everybody knows them. everybody knows it and looks at me, points to the song. It's getting hot in <laughs> here, right? Says, I know this is your shit. Yep. Yeah, man, oh. <laughs> I can't believe this nigga just did. I'm like, yo, no, bro, yeah. put on whatever fuck you want to put on. This is a 50 50 bar. This shit goes to what Every white people listen to, I don't know, because y'all just as diverse as we. We got R and B, rap, uh, Neo Soul, Taylor Swift, nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You want to put some Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift on, Swift on, listen some country. You want to listen some heavy metal? I don't give a fuck. Just that's what you. That's the music you want to. I don't give a fuck. That's what you get down with. But don't look at me and go select fucking Millie Vanilli and be like, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, you nigga. No, but yo, they go back. So mm-hmm. even with they shows, you can tell with they shows, like all they black guys got to talk with 70 references. Like, no, who fucking that says jive. Jive. turkey? Who the fuck still says that? Man, you jive. You, you jive. Know, the fuck jive. you say to me? Jive. Like, what the fuck you just say to me? Hey, hey, they call, they call you a cocksucker. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yo, Never nobody mind. listen. Like, listen, I, like, I shows that shows. Why you doing that? It shows how much of out of touch you are with black people. You don't know black people. How about tonight we just drink as two regular dudes and just sit here and chill? You want to put your fucking heavy metal on? Cool. That song, I'm like, I might ask you, what song was that? Oh, I like that shit. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna add that shit to my playlist. You that, that's cool. I yeah. mean, put a song on. He's like, oh shit, man, bro, who's this? Yeah, this is such a. Oh man, I'm gonna check them out. It goes no further than I'm gonna check them out. Not. Oh, he's pretty good for a black dude. Didn't really think, you know, fucking beat, you know. How you brothers? Bro, bro. How you brothers pick some good music? Yo, yeah, yeah, did you stop just... calling us brothers, bro. Yeah, stop doing that. Yeah, you the brothers, bro. It's it's a good rule of thumb when you see somebody chilling with their people. Yo, just walk by us. Keep bro, just yeah, just mind your business and party with your people. And if y'all parties collide, you do not need to bring race. Uh, there are particular type of you don't need to do that to bond with us, bro. We here. That's it. You just hey man, it's some good music tonight, right? Yeah, some great music, man. I love coming here. Great. Talk to us like regular people. That's how you avoid conflict. I, I and I'm talking to the people who are not trying to do this because not everybody is trying to be racist. They don't have a lot of interaction with black people. So when they do, they just go with what they heard. Yeah, go with what they see on TV. So they don't have a point of reference. Pretty sure that was that guy shit last night. And they think that's the way to get cool with us. You a drawn ass nigga. Just come up and have a normal conversation. If that guy last night on Coke said, Hey, you guys want some Coke? That's perfectly fine. Yeah. You're, 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 we're talking just about regular shit. Hey, man, it's jumping in here tonight. Or, man, it's dead in here tonight. You know what I'm saying? You could chill and we'll be, we'll fuck with you. Like, I'll fuck with my nigga. Like, what's, what's my man's name? Yeah, he was Alan. cool. Alan. Yeah, he was cool. I'll fuck with Alan, yo. He's cool as shit. You know, there's certain he ones. taxes? Like all Chad and Baxter? Chad Baxter. <laughs> Chad and Baxter. Those guys are there. Because cool. the, one, the one white boy that came to the bar was that, that knew my brother. He just came and chilled out. Dude, I fucked a lot of bitches in here. I fucked terrible. No, he was drawing to me, too. He was drawing, but he wasn't. Because that's what he chose to, like, he thought that would impress us. But yeah, he was definitely different. drawn because he went up. He was, like, going up to... to Two girls, they like black guys. Oh, yeah, he did say that. That's what I'm trying to say. They pick something that they think that we just it just impresses us, and then they try to like, and it's like, bro, we here, we chilling. We men overall. You could come over here and be like, yo, why the fuck they got why the fuck they got church on the big screen? Yeah, that's a legitimate conversation we can have. I don't know, right? Shit crazy right here, man. Oh, I work at UPS. Oh, that's dope. Wow. Y'all getting paid like a hundred fucking thousand dollars a year now. Regular conversation, not hey man, I oh, fuck so many bitches in here, man. I got this bitch right here, man. Look, yeah, man. I'm a caller. She likes black guys too. Bro, did I say I'm here to fuck random bitches with you? No, just be regular. Well, I come up to be like, that's like when you come to a white guy, like he in the bowling. Yeah, man, she fuck white dudes too. And you can have a small dick, bro. Like, I can stereotype you. You should say that. I should say that to a white dude. See how yeah. the fuck he take it. Like, yeah, next time you got a fucking your bar with all your there people, you don't walk up to a black dude and say, hey, you got a big black cock, don't you, dude? I oh. said that to Kev. Yeah, he said that. He said that to Kev. I should have been like, yo, man, your dick's small. It's cool. He people. followed you around and wanted to know if you were bro, doing that hard pounding. Was fuck that was you, was slamming, you were slamming the dick. Yo. I wanted to know. Heavy, heavy on it, though. <laughs> you're a virtual dick slammer <laughs> bro this shit just like it just, and he wanted to keep shaking your hand yo he's trying to see your palm size that's how, <laughs> <laughs> but that's how you know you're drawing if you have to shake my hand until i don't give you black too if you gotta shake my hand a total of 15 times bro you're drawing I chill i wonder do they like yo they just hear the stereotypes of black dudes is fucking super yes. aggressive Oh, because me and him don't, we're not the people to, we do, we talk to girls because we're lighter skinned. Yeah. You fuck them with your enormous penis or something like that's that. That's what he said. Yeah. That's what I'm saying is like, that's how they think. So that's the way they come and connect with you. Do not connect with me like that. That shit is fucking it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. You ain't see another brother come up to me. You being a dead horse though. No, but a dude black, okay, black dude was in a bar last night. See my t shirt. I had an anime shirt on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know now, yeah, mm-hmm. one piece. Y'all know what it is. No, so that's what you walk around in when you go to bars a one piece. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> romper. But the black dude just said, bro, <laughs> the romper is fucking crazy. He said, nice t-shirt, bro. He said, <laughs> said, nice t-shirt, bro. I fuck with that. That's what's up. Like, he's right. black. He's black. He's black. Yeah, yeah. And he kept the shit moving, moving. Normal conversation. Normal. Yeah. That is fucking normal. Yeah. That's normal. 
That's even normal if you're white and you do that. I'll fuck with that anime, dog. So, yeah. Perfect. Push. Perfect. It's even all right if they chill and they have a conversation about anime. The, the topic. Yo, you watch anime? That's crazy. I wouldn't think. You know what I mean? Like, you can have an opinion and be like, yo, I wouldn't think unless you say a nigga would watch anime. But, but <laughs> keep bit. going. But let me ask you, what if you walked up to a Japan, Japan, Japanese person and said, yo, you watch anime? <laughs> Listen, this is my favorite anime. <laughs> Is it okay still? Hell no, it's not okay. I'm Why? Because y'all. Japanese people watch anime, or they well, make know, anime. We used to call it Japanimation. I don't know if they still call it that. That's uh, anime. You know what's crazy? But that's like us nope. going. That's like us going to a Chinese know, person cause... house and assume like, yo, bro, what you eat? Like, you know, you're like, yo, no, nah, I don't. Talk about I, what we talk about yeah, 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 yeah. We talk, but a Japanese nah, person, like, bro, you. I think it's all right if you ask a Chinese or Japanese so person. It's Korean wrong. Person, no, it's do you wrong. like anime? It's wrong. Why? It's racist. <laughs> Yo, picking them out of the crowd, it's proper. <laughs> you want to Just randomly, but like, if they got an anime shirt on, it's inviting to conversation. We have an anime I don't shirt think on. I don't think that's a... If, they're, if they just come up randomly, do-do-do, got some drinks. Ooh, Asian. You like anime? That's what I'm talking about. No, that's not. But if they're wearing an anime shirt, they walk by, they like this shirt. They're like, yo, that's my shit. You like anime? That's different. Then it, but that's how it came yeah, to yeah. Kev. It wasn't like it wasn't like Kev was at the bar. He was just chilling, drinking. A white dude walked by, stopped, looked at Kev and said, yo, you like fried chicken? You know what I'm saying? It's not like that okay. happened. I, yo, listen, I did have a racist You like moment. watermelon? I did have a racist moment and like then, that. Then, then be like, I like watermelon, too. Now let's talk about different no. types of watermelons. No, no. Nah, that's not what happened. But I, 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 I'll always be racist shit, but I had a racist moment to a minority one time as a kid. Raheem used to hang out with this uh, Asian kid like he had the first PlayStation. But we was over there chilling so long it got dark and he's like, yo, my parents said, is it, is it okay y'all stay for dinner? I'm like, yeah. But then these motherfuckers come out with spaghetti and it throws me the fuck off. <laughs> Oh, because I'm like, yo, Kev thought he was getting. I'm thinking I'm about young. to get Chinese food. I'm like, yo. they don't eat that shit, nigga. They don't eat it. Why don't they? Chinese people don't eat Chinese food. No, <laughs> they don't make their own type of Chinese food at home. No, but Why they was they, have they was more have Americanized. I've never ate at a Chinese place. I did. They were more of an Asian. But the thing about it is, when you go to, uh. A Latino's home or a Spanish person's home, they make Spanish food. If you go to someone who's from Nigeria or Ghana, they they make the food that's relevant to their country. No, but the shit that we get from the Chinese store, they don't eat. That's, they don't eat that shit. They eat. It if depends. You, if you got a bro, friend, that's they type of. When I go to the Chinese food store, and I all right, but when, you, when I, I go I there to mad, pick up food, a lot of times I go there and the whole family is there. And they're in the Chinese food store eating Chinese yeah. food. Eating what? Like the shit they make. Like, now nah, they eat like water with some rice. With some, with rice nah, and I've water seen with them the eat all and types shit. of shit. You they know what I'm saying? The that. kids be coming by. They don't eat the shit I've, we be eating. No. No, they don't. Bro, you when they just threw me off as a I kid. Think, I don't think Because I didn't realize. They probably made spaghetti because they were like. Niggas is here. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> like, put the chopsticks away. I'm looking like I know how to use chopsticks. Put those away. Get a plastic fork. The thing I'm looking like I'm looking like yo, bro. What is what type of plate did you use? Like yo, where the Chinese food at? Where the Chinese food at? He's like, what? Like, were you just talking about Chinese food? I'm like, yes, bro. (laughs) But it was just he's like, no, like, did I like I asked for spaghetti? I wanted spaghetti. Mom made it for me. I'm like, nigga. Ain't no egg, ain't no fucking general child chicken. All right, yeah. No sweet. Okay. See, but that's what he's. But that's at. what I'm saying. That's not, my mind was programmed to this shit. Like I, that was my one racist moment. Where the sweet and sour chicken, Miss? Never mind. <laughs> Miss Ho? Mrs. John. Oh my god. So that's the thing, right? When you, when you, yeah. Let's not beat a dead horse. But this nigga farting. Racism. Oh, all right. Um, what was another thing, a weird, weird thing that happened yesterday? Oh, the, the, the white shit. The watermelon at, at, at your aunt's house. Yeah. Was eating watermelon well, and half the black people didn't say they didn't even like watermelon. They didn't like the texture. I bust, I bust that watermelon. The fuck yeah, yeah, I, I eat that shit. That's good. good. I love watermelon. So my cousin, so my cousin, he said he had an Amish friend and he gave him a ride. And he said, the guy said to thank him. 
gave him a watermelon from his garden. <laughs> so, <laughs> so listen. Yeah. So um, half like my brother and my other cousin was like, "That's racist as fuck." And my cousin was like, "Nah, he just had a he had a garden. That's one of the things he don't. He gave me other shit too." And I was like, "That's not fucking racist." He gave him peppers and shit, but the watermelon was the thing that took. Exactly. <laughs> the watermelon that last. I that's know you like really that. No, that. That's what it made it racist. Like, I have a perfect thing for you. Hold on. <laughs> Give them the watermelon first, and then and then the E's and the P's all this over. Here's a few other things. Other as well. things yeah. But this one, that's, that's, I know I this like, one. Like yesterday, like I met a, I was that's helping my mother in the move. county. <laughs> yeah, and it was a bunch of older white women. They were just having normal, just normal conversation. Like, hey, you know, she seen I was hurt. She started asking me about my back. She's like, yeah. No one seen that you was hurt, Kev. No, I told her I was hurt. So oh, I'm, right. situation. I'm, I'm like me. <laughs> yes, you were limber. Yeah, so, <laughs> but it's just a normal conversation. I move my grandmother out the building, and, she, and they older white women like, "Hey, I'm a miss her. She's always the life of the party, and she's always so nice." And we, you know, we we're really gonna miss her in this building. There's no, uh, you know, no fucking like sly or subtle racist. Oh, she used to make these. She used to make me some soul food, and it was so good. It was so delicious. Like, I mean, nah, bro. If it was fire. We should talk about it. What? I'm you were saying, you, like, you didn't think fire. it was right because she I'm said saying. she used to make me soul food. Nah, if an old white lady. If it was fire, we should talk about it. But fire was soul food. The food, yeah. yeah. If she and and soul food, yeah, and if she's not used to eating, I mean that is a category of foods. If she's not used to eating not. food and it's soul food, <laughs> nah. And, and the thing about it is, she probably didn't even know it was called soul food until the woman told her this is soul food, and that's probably how it stuck in her mind. Yeah, but it was like it, the conversations I was having with these older white women. You can't feel a hint of racism. What's 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 considered to be okay, and what's considered to be over the line to y'all? If a white person coming up to to y'all saying some shit, hey, hey, you know, over the line, over the line, and under the line. Give me both. What should they talk to you about, and what shouldn't they talk to you? Don't about? talk to me about politics. Don't talk to me about the Confederate flag and what it means. <laughs> That's what they be coming to you with. I asked the dude with a Confederate flag in his window, like, bro, this is not what you think it means. Like, it's just, don't, I don't want to hear shit. I see that flag is I racist. Think that's okay to say. Nah, no, that flag is racist to me. You no, really, and if he tells you, it's not what you think it means, brother. Don't talk to me about us having the same chances as you do at getting ahead in life. It got deep. That's what I don't want to hear. Shit, like, well, you're, you could do this too. All you got to do is, nah, bro. You think there's people in higher places that that want to see us succeed to get to their level to have things change from the hundreds and hundreds of years of what they're used to? You know what I'm saying? Their generational wealth being a chance to have to share something like that. The, mm -hmm. the one percenters. You know what I mean? That's not I mean, keep it a hundred. That's just not stuff that they want to see. They have a certain way of life and things are the way they are today because of the implementation of the the things that were implemented back then and i mean just think about the normal shit right now remember when you used to be younger and you and you just you couldn't wait to make like 20 dollars an hour mm -hmm. you needed that 20 dollars an hour yep. and then when you got to 20 dollars an hour you realized it ain't shit you know what i'm saying and how hard it is to get over that hump Regardless if you have schooling or not, you know what I'm saying? You, it's hard for you to find, if you're a working man, it's hard for you to find a job where you are comfortable in life mm -hmm. without having some type of experience over time or having to work forever to get to that point. I mean, we've been working all our lives. Motherfuckers is still just, just breaking 30, you know what I mean? $30 an hour type shit. And at the end of the day, You've are now now you've progressed in life and your responsibilities have become more and more. That thirty dollars ain't worth shit as inflation goes up. That thirty dollars ain't worth shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You really and now you're working overtime. Now you get into a new tax bracket. That thirty dollars ain't worth shit. Turning into forty five, fifty dollars, it ain't. It still ain't worth yeah, shit. Nobody actually wants you to get ahead. Like yeah, this shit ahead. is implemented yeah, for that. the minority. Uh -huh. So so you can't talk to me about. Yo, all you got to do is this or because the reason that you're able to do that is because someone felt comfortable enough for you to give you that chance because the thing that you have in common is you're Caucasian. In reality, 
when you look at when you look at going for an employment, what are you? Are you black? Are you are you Caucasian? Why y'all need to know that? Everything is it, everything. Look, fuck, you need to know my race for am I applying for a job? You shouldn't need to know people's races. You but think about they say Asian. Think about that. They'll they'll say they'll say black, Asian, African, Caucasian. But Caucasian is considered for you. Could be Polish, Russian. Mm-hmm. You could be from England. You could be British. You're from London. It don't matter if you're if you're Caucasian. They consider every one of you, every one of them, Caucasian. Mm-hmm. Doesn't stipulate. It doesn't. It doesn't stipulate exactly I where mean, they from. They don't have Jamaican and Haitian. That's also true. Yeah, and what African kind of black? There. What kind of nigger are you? <laughs> yeah, but where, 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 you know what I'm saying? where these places okay. at? You're right, you're right. They don't have African Asian, they consider all of them to be Asian. You are absolutely correct. But I mean, then African American. They always do that. They always want. I'm to... just saying how they oh, the differences that they make or other. You, they just you, don't put you on just, put other if you're. Trying. Then you gotta write it in. Just put black on it. African American shit is like, like, bro. I'm not from Africa. I'm from America. I've never seen Africa. Damn. If you want to say African American, that means that nigga moved from Africa and became a an American. An American. I'm black. I don't check that. Check the black box. I, I, they, they don't have Caucasian why. and then just American. They don't have. They I don't, don't have even, Russian. I American. don't even know why the fuck we're not. We, we, we even have to fill that part out. Yeah, I don't. Know. They want to. They want to know what they're getting themselves into before. I really think so because they, they, there's. Yeah. A, it was. So, I mean, there's a study right now. There was a study about people who were people who have. Um, like uh, records, white and black. Okay, they apply for jobs, and it showed how many people got callbacks. Mm. So it was without record and with a record, white and black, right? So I'm gonna make up percentages, but this is how deep the which call it was. So white person without a criminal record was like 74 percent. White person with a record was like 45 percent. Okay, that's pretty big. Black person with a record or without a record was like 39%. Uh, and without, so even us without a record, the other part doesn't even matter. Even us without a record still got a callback less percentage than the motherfuckers with a record. Yeah. Could you believe that? It yeah. was an official study done, and oh. that was the numbers. They hire who they feel comfortable with. That's fucking crazy. But that's, that's why they what go. We deal with. But that's why they go to bars. That's why they at bars. They don't feel comfortable. They start talking that weird shit. That's why when I go around them, they start talking that weird shit they with start me. Talking about your dick size. I start talking about. I start talking about slavery and how white people had people. You should see how uncomfortable the motherfuckers. They want to get out of conversation quickly. You start talking about slavery. Oh, why we gotta get so deep, bro? Because you just said you just called me a big black slinging dick shit. So. I, I'm sorry. I got to bring up something to make you feel uncomfortable. You. Like you made me feel uncomfortable <laughs> right now. They all want you, bro. No. no, no, it's just weird. I'm just like, you want to make me feel uncomfortable? Make you feel uncomfortable. Get the fuck up. That's what we should have started talking about. That motherfucker should have got in the huddle with this motherfucker. Let him sit there and just start talking about slavery and how the white man holds it down. That motherfucker would have left so fucking fast. He left nah, fast. He, he, he would have turn coded. Yeah, he would have nah, said, he, yeah, man, he's like, yeah, yeah, they really did you guys no, wrong. He would have said. Though. They did my they did my people the same way because he tried to say he well not try he said he was Native, Native American. American. He was like yeah, yeah he just wanted to say Native to Native American. He's like I just want to say the word nigga. I'm two percent Cher- Cherokee. Like they'll just say shit that's like it's this joke on New Girl where she was like uh, they were t- they said Indian or something like that. You know, forgive me. And she was like I don't I'm not comfortable with that word. I'm a twenty fourth uh twenty fourth Cherokee, <laughs> and they were like twenty fourth Cherokee. You barely got anything in you at all. So it's just something that they do. But we ain't we ain't we ain't do this to white bash. It's just that this is more to educate. When you see us at a bar, yeah, just talk to us regular. Don't talk to us at all. Like you don't we don't need to interact. Or if we interact, we don't need to talk about some what's perceived to be black shit. Yeah, it's all good, bro. Like, it's all good. And when Sir Mix a Lot comes the fuck on, do not point to us and look at us to get on the dance floor. No. I'm sorry, they play that song all the time, and they... that's what they do. That's how they dance. They don't got no fucking rhythm. They... Now nah, you know what I you know what I see more of. What's all they play I now? Can hold you. The the Meek Mills intro. They, if they can sing it word if, for word, then we okay. Then they're cool. No, no, no. It's it's the it's the face when it comes on, and then 
not going I'm not going to hold <laughs> I feel like as soon as if I'm in like a majority white bar as soon as that joint come on I feel like every white person who's about to start singing looks back at me and be like oh hold up wait a minute y'all thought I was finished and then they I'm like yo <laughs> and they get they put their arm around you go yeah. crazy like, yo, yeah. like a I'm thousand like, white people putting their arms around you doing the one joint like they Pushing you up. I said, hey, fuck. As soon as motherfucker grabbed me like that, hey, bro, I listen to fucking heavy metal. Fuck this rap shit. Mm. I mean, I didn't want to say nothing, but everything we was talking about, they had a Paramore song come on, and I was like, this is my shit. Imagine me going up to a white person and saying, Paramore, Paramore. They would have been like, the fuck, I don't even listen to fucking Paramore, but that's my shit. I don't feel the need to hear the song in a bar with predominantly white people and say, Let's bond over this. No, nigga, this is my favorite song. Fuck you. Or this my this song I like. Fuck you, nigga. Like, I don't need to bond with you about this song. It's my yeah. shit. When Meek Mills come on the whole bar, you stop with the you just feel like the crowd turn like I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I would sing it anyway, knowing that they're all looking at me and I will go crazy. No, they just look at that camp like we're gonna sing this together. <laughs> all the white people in the bar. Like, if you if they blank out the whole first part and they don't sing it, but they only sing it that hold up, wait a minute, then they they ain't fucking with you. Don't worry about it. They gotta sing the whole song. <laughs> I just that, but that's the and then we bond. Drake, so, so Sir Mix a Lot is He's out waiting now. Waiting for him to sing "Nigga" in the song. <laughs> yes. So Sir Mix a Lot song. Then it's, he's right before the lyric comes. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at and, that, and then as they sing it, they look back at Dre like, <laughs> uh-huh. "I said, nigga." Let me say it. Yeah, you have to say the ad libs and everything. It's what they've been waiting for, huh? All that has to go in, or or it's all invalid. So that's the, that's their new Sir Mix a Lot. Yes. And, and, if, they, and if they do it, we good. Their new Sir Mix. Yo, Sir Mikola is crazy. Let's wrap this up. We out of here, man. That's another episode, man. Hopefully, hopefully, our white brethren is gonna learn something from this. Like for real, dead ass. Yeah. Take some advice. You see us at the bar. Chill. You don't know me. Just head not me. Keep it pushing. When you see me at the bar, yeah. my nigga. You don't, don't know touch me. my fucking muscles. Yeah, don't touch my muscles. Hey, yo, don't guy, grab a black a girl's guy, hair if you're white. And says, oh my crazy. gosh. How do you got these braids? A guy grabbing your muscles is any t- any they, they color do, they guy. They do you too, bro. When I say muscles, I don't physically mean muscles. I mean, don't grab a nigga. Don't grab niggas. Nigga grab like, nigga like. They grab you hey, and bro. like start, oh, excuse me, big guy. Excuse me, big guy. Like, you ain't grab that big muscular white dude to say that shit. You feel the need to put your hands on me and feel like just oh, no, a, too please familiar, don't, bro. Don't, don't swing. Don't swing. Don't swing. Don't swing. I'm bad back dude. I know we at the end of the show. This reminds me, yo. This with 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 the gay shit you talk about. This is one dude on one of my routes, bro. <laughs> I delivered to. He's in a fucking second floor apartment. Black dude though. He's black. Yeah. And he he was waiting out there. He did this shit to me like three times. He waited out there the first time for whatever. He ain't know I he ain't know I was delivering to him first time. So I delivered to him. He was standing out there, and he was. I was like two two. Yeah. All right. There you go, bro. He was like, damn, man, get out the gym. I said, uh, I said, all right. I said, what you, what you mean? He's like, yeah, man, big guy, man. Get out the gym, man. You're too big. I said, all right, cool. The second time, he did the same thing and it made it way weirder because it's like, all right, bro, why are you looking at me and commenting on my muscles? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he said it, and he said it the same way as if he never said it before. You understand what I'm trying to say? Oh, man. Don't hit me, man. Don't, don't punch me, man. You probably punch like Mike Tyson. And I'm like, brother. yo, like, all right, bro. They did it the third time. Oh, man, you just too big. Yo, <laughs> nigga, we, my nigga, I'm just handing you the package. We don't got to talk. He was like, yeah, I'm waiting for you to hand me the package. <laughs> he opened it because Pete, whoa. <laughs> and he'll open the door and get it and as I'm walking I don't see him the first time he was out there it's the, the other times he's opening the door and getting the package and then yelling it to me as I'm walking to my truck let's hey, you come by you go <laughs> you you go <laughs> so get out the gym and get in my house <laughs> what's cool <Kool-Aid? laughs> So the third time I did get in my truck, I said, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? And rolled away. I'm like, all right, yo, I'm not delivering here no more. Or I'm going, I'm not going to knock. I'm just going to throw that shit and keep it pushing and run. He's going to be waiting for you. It's weird, bro. He hey, gonna dude. Open- hey, hey, 
I'm going to throw the package hey. from the distance. And he's gonna... Hey, off the gym. <laughs> as you, he's going to catch you as you walking away and be like, wait, 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 bro. This package is for you. And you'll be like, what? <laughs> Clean that nigga around this ring. Clean that nigga right on the fucking rails. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> uh, skinny, 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 skinny black dude. Huh? Skinny black dude. Not skinny. This is just a weird white He's just black a weird. He's a black dude. He's just a weird dude. Probably watch anime all the time. <laughs> For real. I, don't like, care. I watch anime all the time. time. You was real, I man. ain't been right. weird like hey, that. Yo, Kevin, but you know that person. I mean? <laughs> a bigger dude who hey, watches anime all the time. Yeah. You get a picture in your head like, all right, I see what this nigga's look like, look like in my head. Glasses or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know wear glasses. Near but, beard neck. What right? One of them niggas is just like, bro, I get it. Like, I've been to gym on purpose. Yes. You don't need to keep commenting on that shit. I'd man. like to say don't, don't, don't hit you me. You don't get it, man. No, I'm not gonna leave you alone. Man, go back in there to jack it off, nigga. <laughs> jack it off. Jack it off the built dudes. <laughs> <laughs> you taking videos of Dre? <laughs> right out the window, just checking off the fucking built dudes. It's hey, crazy. Him, hey, you, him taking videos of him yelling to you, "Oh, dude, get out the gym." Can you imagine this motherfucker? <laughs> you imagine brother Chin Chin you give you a picture like, "Hey, dude, look, look what I did." Took a picture of you, bro. Said, "Get out the gym, here, man. Nah, Take it home, hang it up." Dre gonna go to like, deliver I mean, a package, and he gonna have a shirt with a picture of Dre walking away. <laughs> 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 saying get out the gym on the bottom <laughs> Sparta kick that get, up, get out of the gym and get into my dreams <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. you got All a dude right. that like you dude right. yeah. <laughs> but I figured so I'd show up see how I share he's a buff guy <laughs> he's a buff guy <laughs> who's that buff daddy that's crazy I guess that ain't what buff guys gotta deal with Nah, I don't know what niggas with muscles got to deal with. Right. Only like tall shit. black. Yeah, I think, have we ever did this shit? Yeah, I'm ending. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to end it? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to end it? <laughs>